Hey guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. We're going to talk about the newest It's Bell palette and this is called the Pixie Grove palette. Of course, I'm in whole makeup so you know you're getting looks, you're getting live swatches. I love, love, loved playing with this palette. Spoiler alert, I know. <laughs> but this palette comes in the same artwork sleeve and then you can see all the shades on the back with all the ingredients. This is made in PRC and wait till you see, see the inside of this palette. This comes with a mirror and this is how the beautiful palette looks. This, if this is not fall in a palette, I don't know what is a fall for you because I feel like they encapsulated fall in a palette so very beautifully i'll show you the swatches on the screen for you guys how this palette swatch because it just swatched so effortlessly so beautifully it builds like a dream a dream let me tell you some details about this palette this palette launches on September 9th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for $40. I do not have an affiliate code right now, but you can use the code THANK YOU10 to save 10% off. This palette comes with six mattes and six shimmers, which is my favorite balance for a palette, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, so if you guys are interested to see how I achieve three looks using this palette, then please keep on watching. I'm getting ready for office in the morning so the lighting might be completely off but I still thought that the lighting is okay so I'll record of course I'm just taking brush wood all across my eyelid just like a crease shade and it blends very very nicely as you can see giving me a wash of peach also taking the same shade on the lower lash line when I swatched the uh, matte in the palette they were so smooth, like high-end quality mats. Like I would say, like Nabla mats, like Natasha Denona mats, very soft to the touch. It exactly feels like that. And on application too, I would say. Really, really pretty. Okay, now let's move on. It's not going to be extravagant look right now, just because I'm going to office. I don't want to be over the top. I mean, you can judge. <laughs> I'm going to take Woodlot as my outer corner shade. You know how much I love my burgundies. And this would be stunning. Actually, I'm wearing a green top, so I think I can incorporate greens too. We'll see. Once we've built up the outer corners, I'm going to take the same shade on the lower lash line too. just like that just to tie in everything together and i'm just gonna take the same uh, brush the blending brush that we use with no additional product and blending the edges just so that there is no harsh lines and we went from like a very light transitioning shade to a very deep darkening shade and i don't see any harsh edges which is the plus point and I'm going to just turn my brush and take the shade Trickery and apply it on the lower lash line but towards the inner third. I'm going to take a little bit of Trickery and I'm just going to melt right there and where it meets that burgundy shade just a little bit. Because trickery is definitely more orange, whereas brushwood was more peach. I hope you can see that difference. Okay, I'm gonna go with. Um, what should I do? <laughs> I'm gonna go with mallow fruit. I know, green. I know. Look how stunning the shade is, man. And that contrast with that burgundy is amazing too. And then I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and go into pixie dust. This was so stunning. Oh my god, okay. I'm going to take it in my inner corners and then melt it with that green shade. And then swoop it on top. That green shade was mallow fruit. 
So again, doing that. I don't think you can do any error when you go with any shade in the palette and mix it together because it just goes well with everything in this palette. It's stunning. Okay, that's all that I'm gonna do for this look. We've done a lot. I just got overexcited for office, just imagine. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we'll deal with it. Let me finish up this eye with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. And that's my final look. I love how ethereal this looks. I cannot wait to do so much more with this palette. Now let's move on to the second look. Okay, let's begin with the second look. I have no idea what we need to do, but I just came back from office and I wanted to dive right into this eye shadow palette because I was so excited. Okay, for the next eye look, I'm gonna start off with a darker shade because in the last look, we uh, went from light to dark and we saw that it works beautifully. I wore it for the entire day and I absolutely had no issues with the staying part. So I just wanted to update you guys and I just like took off my eyeshadow from the morning and uh, just put some concealer, changed the lip and sat in front of you for the second eye look. But you are seeing me eight hours later. <laughs> so once we have that, I'm just stamping this shadow on the outer corner just because, oh, you know what? I didn't mean to do this eye. Let's focus on this eye, okay? So ignore. <laughs> okay, after I stamp that on the outer corner, I want to also apply the same shade on the lower lash line. Only on the outer corner just to tie in everything together. Okay, next I'm going to take this shade which is Pixie Pears and I'm going to blend into that green shade. So basically stamping it right there and mixing it with that deeper green. Look how beautifully that both these shades blend together. That's amazing. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush and just take this pixie pear shade and blend it down on the lower lash line too. Okay, I'm gonna start off with this shade, Swamp Waters. It looks amazing. I, I don't want to do so much with this. You have no idea. And this is such a beautiful olivey green shade. So pretty and very, very smooth but dimensional. Just like that. And now, just to give it a little bit more contrast, I'm going to take this shade early morning and I'm going to take it on a brush just because this is definitely more of a flakier formula and I want to pick little by little tap off the excess and then oh my god look at that shade that's amazing wow that's amazing oh yeah i love it okay i'm gonna take that and just stamp it all across the inner third of the eyelid i am 1000 percent sure if you apply it with your fingers it'll pop a lot more oh wow i just love it oh my goodness i love it absolutely loving the wipes have you heard me ever saying i love a green eye look this might be the first time you're hearing it just deepening out the outer corners okay i'm gonna finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and i'll get right back and that's my second eye look i love the way how this turned out it's super green sparkly really really love how glam it looks too i really love it and you don't need to mix all these things together i'm so sure like if you pair this early morning shade right on that orange it'll look so different but right now i'm dying dying to use do like a halo eye let's do it oh my god i want to use all of the shades 
but we're still lacking a lot of shades oh god so what have we not used this this enchanted oh my god i need to use enchanted let's combine a few shades that we've not used and then we'll do whatever we need to do i'm gonna start off with wood lot in the outer corners outer corners yeah and this in my inner third let's do that first okay i just applied some concealer so that i can like you know shadow my mess that i created <laughs> i so badly wanted to do a halo eye i do not think that's gonna happen today but of course if i do more looks i'm gonna give you like show you some pictures so don't you worry about it okay so once we have that deeper thing on the outer corner i'm gonna slowly sweep it in because i don't want too much of mint on my eye so i majorly want burgundy on this eye and i'm also gonna take that on the lower lash line i'm also gonna take this shade trickery and apply that on the inner third of the lower lash line just to melt everything together and then just blend out everything i'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and just blend the edges of that maroon shade which is woodlot it doesn't have anything but i just want a little bit more of a blended look i'm going to take this shade which is fairy wings it's a very pastel-y, minty green shade. I'm going to take that right there in the inner crease just to brighten everything up. And then we're going to mix into that maroon shade to create more of a purpley shade. It gives more of a lavender-y look when you mix it together see look at that okay so once we have that all blended across i'm gonna take my nyx glitter glue because again the star of the show is the shimmers so i'm gonna take those things although the mattes in this palette is outstanding like absolutely outstanding and you've seen how it performs it blends, it builds, it it just superb quality. And it lasts for the entire day, which comes in super handy. Once we have that tacky base, I'm gonna first lay down my shimmers and then I'll go with the deeper matte on the outer corners. Actually, let's just deepen it out a tad bit with that woodlot shade. So that it can stick to the NYX glitter glue that we have laid down see yeah i love i love that depth okay now taking enchanted this is stunning shade look at that isn't that beautiful isn't that just beautiful oh my god it's stunning stunning you guys stunning if it was me i would have taken pixie dust and i would have just dug that on my inner corners and that would be such a beautiful ethereal look but we have not used isabella and we should definitely use it so let's take that it's a beautiful goldeny tone shade okay let's take that oh my god look at that how sparkly it looks and meshing with that pink shade. Taking that on my inner corners too. And then just sweeping it across with that pink shade. Love it. I'm just blending it around with my fingers just so that there's the transition is smooth look at that i love it love it i'm gonna finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and i'll get right back and that's my third eye look i love the way how that blended together 
like look at that like a pink with that green it looks stunning you guys absolutely stunning i cannot wait to create more looks for you guys using this palette i literally i seriously feel like this is one of my favorite fall palettes that i have in my collection and i have a ton in my collection i used all the shades in this palette and i had zero complaints with any of the shades that are included in the palette okay now coming to the con i basically have no cons i the only thing that i would change in this palette just my thought i felt like if it was me i would have switched one of these shades to more of a warmer pink and that would have definitely taken this palette to the number one colorful palette that i have in my collection just because i feel like i can see that warm pink here combined with this i can see that warm pink can be uh, could be combined with this green i could see that warm pink combined with this iridescent shade or even with this shade and that warm pink can be done with this orange too i i feel like that would have taken this palette to another level but although i love this palette i i cannot tell you how much i'm excited about this palette because this truly is worth the wait for me i had waited and waited and waited for its well cosmetics to come out with a palette because you know how much i love them i have loved their uh, the break the rules palette the flare collection remix palette the cool summer palette i also love their all matte palette but i was waiting for their shimmers and special formulas and they gave it to us now without further ado let me go ahead and give you like live swatches of this palette too so that you can see all these shadows in action and how beautifully it performs and you'll see like look at the dimension that this creates it's so so pretty you guys yeah it's so stunning so stunning those are the first four shades of the palette and look how beautiful and dimensional those four shades are i love it i did have a affiliate code with uh, it's well cosmetics but now i do not i think they've stopped all the affiliate codes at this moment i don't know going forward have they like stopped the affiliate codes or for the time being they want to keep it small uh but yeah you can use the code thank you ten to save 10% off there you go this is the second row look how dimensional that is this pink shifts to a beautiful orange and this orange has a beautiful green gold shift really pretty okay let me swatch oh, stunning I mean, it just tells me again and again why I love its spell so much. So that's the second row swatched for you guys. Look at that. So pretty. So pretty and so dimensional. Let's move on to the last row. The last row is like green lover's dream. This is so much that you can do with. It's so crazy. There you go. That's the last row. Look at the shine, the shift, the dimension. Really pretty. Okay. There you go. Those are the last four shades. And that is the entire palette swatched for you guys. Look at this. Look at the shift. Look at the shift. And I'll show you this palette in the outside lighting too, so that you can see all the shifts, the dimension. I captured all the shifts in different amount or like different lightings, and I posted it on my Instagram too. I'll post a picture on the screen for you guys so that you can see it in action. Uh, but yes, all in all, I give it like five thumbs ups for this palette. I love, love, loved playing with this. I'll definitely create more looks, especially tomorrow when I'm going to office. I'll do more of a wearable look because I went crazy in the morning because I was so excited to play with this palette and I I put all the colors on my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but i'll keep it a little more subdued and show you like how uh, easy looks that you can create using this palette let me know if you are interested in picking up this palette this palette launches again 
on September 9th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and it retails for $40. I feel like for that price, this palette is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. You will not regret this. That's my guarantee. But yes, that's all for today, guys. If you did like this video, you know what to do. Do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And ring the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week, every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.